Please help me to like and subscribe to grow our channel. Please help me to like and subscribe to grow our channel. A top military official in Iran warned the U.S. and Israel on Monday of a devastating response after he blamed the two countries of playing a role in Saturday's assault that killed 25, including 12 members of the Revolutionary Guards, Reuters reported. Militants disguised as soldiers opened fire on an annual Iranian military parade in the southwestern city of Aviz. The shooting was the deadliest terror attack to strike the country in nearly a decade. Hossein Salami, the deputy head of the Revolutionary Guard, was at a funeral for one of the attack's victims when he reportedly said, You have seen our revenge before. You will see that our response will be crushing and devastating and you will regret what you have done. Suspects have reportedly been arrested and the country has declared Monday a national day of mourning. Iran believes the attack was carried out by militants trained by Israel and Gulf states and supported by the U.S. The U.S. government strongly condemned the attack and expressed its sympathy, saying that the United States condemns all acts of terrorism and the loss of any innocent lives. We stand with the Iranian people against the scourge of radical Islamic terrorism and express our sympathy to them at this terrible time, said Heather Nauert. The U.S. State Department spokeswoman the attack came as rows of Revolutionary Guardsmen marched down off Aziz Quds, or Jerusalem, Boulevard. It was one of many around the country marking the start of Iran's long 1980s war with Iraq commemorations known as the Sacred Defense Week. Journalists and onlookers turned to look toward the first shots, then the rows of marchers broke as soldiers and civilians sought cover under sustained gunfire. Iranian soldiers used their bodies at times to shield civilians in the melee, with one guardsman in full dress uniform and sash carrying away a bloodied boy. Oh God. Go, go, go. Lay down. Lay down, one man screamed as a woman fled with her baby. Women and children scattered along with once marching Revolutionary Guard soldiers as heavy gunfire rang out. The chaos was captured live on state television. The region's Arab separatists, once only known for nighttime attacks on unguarded oil pipelines, claimed responsibility. Reuters reported that Islamic State say